A police officer, a little girl, and a very scared teddy bear. The makings of a great story and a story that's getting a lot of attention online. So a cop stops traffic to rescue a little girl's prized teddy bear. Casey Mason from a Philly WEHT has this sweet reunion. I recognize that bear. How are you? Good. My name is Jason. Nice, nice. Evansville Police Sergeant Jason Collum meets eight-year-old Nikki Mayo. She's there to say thank you while hugging her teddy bear extra tight. Can I get a hug? That'd be cool. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Hugging her bear she almost lost and hugging the officer who saved it. I'm so happy that he found him. Well, thanks to a dash cam rolling, thousands have watched the officer show his soft side, stopping for an object on I-164. It was Nikki's teddy bear in the busy roadway. Colin was able to catch up with her family down the road who had been searching for the precious cargo and safely return the yeah, bear. Yeah. There's a teddy bear? Yes, sir. There you go. Apologize. No problem. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. Nikki says thank you because this bear is a special one. This is the first bear I ever had. Chocolate the teddy bear has been with her since she was four. We know the importance that teddy bears play in society. They, they save the world sometimes and on that day the teddy bear needed saving. Reuniting a little girl and her bear, Colin says a thank you was plenty enough. This has really turned into something way more than I thought it would have. Uh, I appreciate it personally uh, that people are giving it positive attention. Uh, but seeing her tonight when I walked in here holding that bear, not just holding it, hugging it like she's never going to let it go, I'm really glad that I stopped. Thank you, Jason. How about that? Uh, our thanks again to Casey Mason from Affiliate WEHT for that. And joining us, the man of the hour, the hero, Sergeant Cullum. Sergeant, well done. Thank you. Good afternoon. Hey, good afternoon. So uh, what made you stop? I mean, I think that's the first thing. A lot of people go, come on, this was a stuffed animal. Why don't you just keep going? Well, the, the couple cars in front of me were swerving to avoid it, and that's what caught my attention. Uh, but as I got close, I realized that it was a stuffed animal. Uh, and I have a couple kids myself, and I know uh, how important uh, those teddy bears are to them. Uh, we carry teddy bears in our car uh, that we can give to kids if we're dealing with them and there's a crisis. Uh, so I knew that, that I needed to get that teddy bear, uh, and I was really happy that I was able to find the family as quickly as I did uh, so I could get that teddy bear back home. So right away, your heart's so softening. You've got kids. You know this is somebody's bear. Uh, do, do you know how this bear ended up on the road in the first place? They were actually moving, and they had a, a bunch of uh, Nikki's property, uh, stuff out of her bedroom on a trailer, and uh, Chocolate the teddy bear just happened to come off the trailer, and uh, I guess somebody in the vehicle realized it had come off, and they stopped further up the road. Uh, but I don't think that's going to happen again. I don't think she's no. going to let that teddy bear out of her sight. No, you're right. Well, I mean, we saw the video just a second ago there of you and this cute little girl and the teddy bear. Was that the first time you saw her face to face? That was the first time. That was the first time I got to meet her. Uh, I found the teddy bear on Saturday, and on Tuesday, Nikki's mom called and asked if we could meet because she wanted to say thank you. Oh, uh, so yeah. we met Tuesday night, and that was actually the first time uh, that I got to see. Uh, Nikki with chocolate. You know, and uh, take us behind this video here. We're seeing it, and it's a really touching shot, but what are you thinking? Um, are, are, are you getting a little emotional as you see this little girl hugging chocolate, the teddy bear? Uh, I did. Uh, again, <laughs> as a parent, uh, to, to see kids appreciate something that somebody else has done for them uh, was really neat. Uh, in law enforcement, we don't get thanked a lot for the stuff we do, uh, and, and when you get a thank you from a child like that, you know that it's heartfelt. Uh, she was shy, but she still wanted to, to reach out and say thank you. Uh, and I know I'm getting a lot of attention for what I did for her, but her reaching out and saying thank you to me uh, has really meant the world to me, and yeah. I really appreciate it. What was that hug like? We just saw it there. It was one of the best hugs I've ever had. Hmm. Well, that's good. Is, is there a message you I mean, like you said, yes, this is a teddy bear, but it sure warmed a little girl's heart. I mean, is there a bigger message here for us, you think, Sergeant? This is something that took two minutes out of my life, but changed somebody else's life hmm. and has made a lot of people smile. Uh, if everybody is willing to give that little of themselves to help somebody else, uh, this is what it can do. Uh, and I hope that, that my kids learn from this, and I hope that a lot of people learn from this, that uh, it doesn't have to be a big event to change people's lives. It can be something small, uh, and if it's heartfelt and honest, uh, it's going to accomplish that. Well put. Two minutes out of our lives can change somebody else's. You did just that. 
Sergeant, thanks again. Merry Christmas to you. Appreciate your time. Oh, it's already been a good Christmas. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. Well done. And uh, chocolate the teddy bear safe and sound.